this he was probably the only person giving me love in all of the ways so that's all i saw this is totally fine maybe my teacher is a good person da, 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 da. When yeah you realized that something wrong had been done was it like when you were in your 30s or was this something that you realized when it was going on as it was going on i didn't and then i'd be like no, 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 no. This is totally fine. He's my teacher. He was my teacher. He's a good person. Da, 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 da. Justifying it. Right. So yeah. it, it seemed and looked and appeared and felt like all the right things. That's the weird thing. It's like you're convincing yourself that it's not that. It's not what you see. Because everything I saw was love. I saw words of affirmation. I saw quality time. I saw all gifts. Yeah. I saw all the love languages. This He was probably the only person giving me love in all of the ways. So that's all I saw. Yeah. So then I had to convince myself that it wasn't that. That's the hard part. When I was around 18 years old and I went away to college, college things kind of shifted a little bit and I don't know if it was because his interest changed because I was no longer a child or because I was no longer a little kid that he can control and be there but I was often living my life and let him know this feels wrong this doesn't feel right and I didn't even draw a hard line or boundary to be honest I kind of was just like this feels a little strange and he went crazy and cut me off 